What's up guys, welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new meta formation, the custom tactics to use in game, and how it's going to benefit you in the weekend league and division rivals. So let's get into it. If you're looking to buy any FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, then look no further. U7 Buy has the cheapest coins out there, the transactions are safe, and you'll receive your coins within a blink of an eye. Use code K for a 5% discount, link is in the description. Okay, so... As you can see, this is my team currently now. Um, I packed Upper Makanu in my, I think it was the party bag. Um, I think it was the, yeah, the Future Stars party bag pack. I packed him. He wasn't a walkout because he was 84 rated. And I didn't expect it. He was really good. And then all of a sudden, I just like realized it was like a live card. Um, so I straight away went on to um, the Bundesliga League update thing on one of the apps and uh, they said that, well, I looked at the date when this card was released or last updated. And obviously, in order to get an upgrade without getting an inform, you have to win four league matches. So they've won, they they were winning three when I looked it up. And then they had one more, which is against this really bad team. Can't remember. And they actually won it 4-0. So now he's got an upgrade to an 86 and his card is unbelievable. His stats is really good. Like his agility balance is good for... A, a defender his reactions are okay uh his composure is uh, okay but he's not like the center center back he's my left center back i'll show you the formation and everything um so yeah the defending is pretty much maxed out and his pace is pretty much maxed out as well his stamina is not really relevant for the center back or where the position i'm playing him at um so yeah i, I also packed kuman in my mid to prime icon pack which is really good um, I also, well, I took out, so the players I took out, right, from last, last week in league was the worst week in league I've had so far in FIFA 21, um, just because, uh, well, I, it was the good, it was the best start of FIFA 21, I was 9-0, um, then on Sunday I played, like, the rest of my games, and I went on a losing streak, um, I had 10 games remaining, like, I lost all of them, I had 10 games remaining, and I had to win, I think it was 5, um to get um gold three because i was at silver two um so realistically I, I just wanted to stop till silver one because you can get any player from there so anyway i i thought that i needed a new team because the players i was playing against so the two players that i took out right was keen and cristiano ronaldo so basically keen is a good player right but now it's now at this time of the game people have lots of like agile players and key and fast players and just all around good players um keen isn't that good just because his agility and balance isn't good his um pace isn't good and some of his stats aren't the best like he's really good at defending but sometimes i want my cdms to push forward so this is why i've changed my team around and also this cristiano ronaldo i think it's just past its meta form um when he first came out he was unbelievable like he was better than his 94 but now, like as the game grow as the game is going on, this flashback Cristiano Ronaldo is getting like bad, worse and worse. Um, his pace is good, his shooting is good, everything is good except from the fact that he's only got three star weak foot, and people can read where he's gonna go, where he's gonna shoot. He's always gonna go in his right um, foot, so it's really hard to try and shoot with his left foot. Um, the only time he's gonna like score with his uh, left foot is if he's in the box, like, and it's a really clear opportunity, and there's no blocks. Um, he's good in the air. He's he's a good player, but it's just his two star weak foot lets him down, and his agility and balance as well. He's not that agile, but you expect that from Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, yeah, but that's fine. Uh, so I just took him out. I, he's probably gonna uh, go back into the squad, but I just wanted to try out a new squad for this week in league at the start to see how it works out if it works out the same and if i'm not a very good fifa well ultimate team player then i'll put cristiano ronaldo and keen back in the team but i just wanted to try out this team that i started like i got this right wing back claber um at right wing but he is not going to play right wing i can guarantee you that and there's just like a few other players that i've put into the team um, like Gulashi, I put him into the team because of Upper Makanu, so I had to take out that Inform Pope, and Inform Pope is unbelievable, don't get me wrong, but Gulashi, I've tried him and he's he's amazing, like, I've tried him the whole of last week in league and he's just unbelievable, um, I didn't expect that as well because he's like 6'3", I'm pretty sure, yeah, 6'3", 2 star weak foot, but he is really good, 
Um, I probably think he's better. I think personally, he's better than Pope. Um, just because I've tried him out more, he's like a bit. He's a bit better on the ball, and he just feels he just feels solid. So starting off with the actual formation and the custom tactics. Um, go into custom tactics. Then what you want to do is press edit game, uh, game plan, which is LT or L2 on PlayStation. Um, then you want to scroll, choose anything. I'd recommend you choose defense because it's the quickest one to just go two times to the right. Uh, then you want to click that. And so let's start off with the formation first. Then we get into the custom tactics, the instructions and roles. So the formation that I'm using is three, five, uh, the three, five, two formation. Um, so the reason why I'm using this is because the recent patch that EA did, um, I can't remember what it was, but basically there was this new update and everyone started using the three at the back slash five at the back. Um, and this is literally what they would use. They'd use left backs and right backs as their center backs. Um, so in this case, I'm using Kleber as my uh, right center back. Adamatoro is my left wing back and Pulisic is my right wing back. Um, so yeah, Curtis Jones and Tavernier, I'm starting at CDM. Uh, I'll go into the instructions right now. So um, Kleber is my right center back um, just because he is amazing. Like I've tried him before. He's unbelievable. Lots of people are using him and there's really good reviews on him. So I put stay, stay back while attacking on him. Normal interceptions. Uh, Kuman is not that agile because um, he's just, he's got, he's a bit more taller and he's, his body type isn't good for an, more of an agile uh, left center back or right center back because you need your um, two wide center backs to like turn fast because you're going to, come up with the likes of Mbappe, Ronaldo, who's 94 Ronaldo. Um, so yeah, Kuman is my solid centre-back that's just going to be, he's quite tall, so he's really good at headering. Um, he, he's all around stats, is unbelievable. So yeah, he's my solid centre-back. And then Upper Makanu, he's like, he, he's in-game game face and he's in-game body type. He's quite small. Um, he's already agile because of his obviously agility and balance is really good. His pace is incredible and his defense isn't really good. Um, he's got three star weak foot, which is quite bad to play him on the left side, but it doesn't really matter just because he's going to be sweeping up and he's just going to be playing it into like the center forwards, center, I mean, the center mids or the left wing backs so, and such. Um, so, yeah, that is my back three. Uh, so, my left wing back is Adama Traore. Now, I put a gladiator on him just to upgrade his defending and his shooting, uh, just because he's going to go up and down as well. Um, he's going to get really, really tired. Um, and that's when I put on Ryan Kent or just some random left winger like Bergwin or something. Yeah, but so these are actually my instructions on Adama Traore. So come back on defense. That's really important for Adama Traore. Um, but just because he's got that defensive stats already, and um stay wide so um when we're attacking he always like stay wide and if because if you have your wing backs like come in the middle um it, it's not going to be as much space out wide you're always going to be playing in the middle and it's just going to get too crowded just because you already got three midfielders there and your two strikers are actually going to be staying in the middle as well um so yeah and then getting behind obviously he's got the pace to do that and yeah, just normal interceptions and support and crosses. So moving on to my right winger. He's not really a right wing back just because I put stay forward on him. He hasn't got the best of defending stats. So that's why I put stay forward. He's really good in that area. He doesn't lose um, stamina. He lasts a full game. Um, so normally when I sub Adam Achorari on, I keep Pulisic there because he's already on like the highest green on stamina. He's like 90. Um, he's really good at right wing. He's 4 star, 4 star, which is really good as well. So he can use his left foot if he wants to. Stay wide, the same, getting behind, all of the same, except from stay forward and obviously Adam Atrari's on get behind, um, get back. Um, so my CDMs now I've changed. Before my right CDM was Keen. He had 2 star weak foot, which was, no, he had 3 star weak foot, I think, but 2 star seal moves. And he was just a bit bulky and it he just wasn't that good at the start of the game he was really good when i actually got him but now he started to die off just because there's so many other good cdm slash cams um or the attackers actually that are really good and agile so yeah i decided to use tavernier 
Um, I've used cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking just because if Adam Ajwari gets up, I want one of my CDMs to tuck in behind, which they will do. Normally it's interceptions and cover wing, just in case if Pulisic gets up too much, then I'll have Tavernier dropping back as the right wing back. And Adam Ajwari would just keep in that left wing and then Pulisic will put in, um, will come inside to the right centre mid. Um, so yeah, Curtis Jones is the same thing because I want them to to obviously help out Pulisic and help out Adam Ajwari. Sometimes Adam um actually gets up really high and sometimes he can't get back. So that's why Curtis Jones is there and he is solid. Like, I think he's one of the best SPCs I've ever done. Um, and I really rate him. I've used him ever since, never took him out of the squad because he is unbelievable. He's literally like an English hullet. Um, it's unfortunate that he doesn't have his game face, but that's fine. Um, so my cam is uh, JJ Okocha. Uh, stay forward, get into the box for a cross normal stick to position and normal interceptions um so he's just pretty much standard um a coach is just that agile player that's just meta even though he hasn't got the best of stats he's just really good um getting into the box the one-on-one -on -one opportunities he's extremely good and um, plus running on to like um one on one uh, one one twos and just getting shots on target he's really good um free kicks he's really good at as well so i have him on my long free kicks and short free kicks um, so my right striker was Cristiano Ronaldo, but now I've you I'm now I'm using a Rain Rooney because I used him a lot before I actually got the Cristiano Ronaldo and he was incredible. Like he's fast if you put the right chemistry style on him. His shooting's unbelievable. You don't need to really touch it. Um, he's he's just all around really good. His lowest stat is seventy one, which is defending. So that shows a lot about his card. He's ninety three rated as well, and he holds a decent price tag, which is like two fifty k or something like that. Um. Yeah, so he's on the same um, instructions as Cristiano Ronaldo before, but the only thing is he's got four-star weak foot, which is better, so he can cut in on his left. He's more shorter, which automatically makes him more agile, and he's just really good at like one-on-one -on -one opportunities as well, like Okocha, because he's small, they're agile. It's just really good to have him as well. Um, so Owen and so Owen is the one that's getting him behind because he's got more pace. Uh, Wayne Rooney will be my getting in behind one as well, just because now I've changed it and I, I haven't really touched the instructions as much until I'm doing the video right now. So yeah, uh, Rooney, Owen, getting behind, both of them on all stay forwards. Um, so it's just um, a Kocha. It's only four players that I have stay forward, which is a Kocha, Owen, Wayne Rooney and Pulisic. And the rest, you just stay back. So I have that balance as well, which is really good. And you need to have this, especially on this formation, which is... It's the meta formation, but sometimes you can get um, countered on, especially when other people have the same formation as you, but they're using like um, slightly different a variation of that formation. So yeah, you need to watch out for that. And yeah, so if you have similar players to me, make sure you use the same um, custom tactics because they are very helpful. Trust me, I, I think I used the same team. Maybe uh, it was Cristiano Ronaldo instead of Rooney, but I used definitely the same team for my gold one. Um, weekend league and literally this is the same team I use except from Rain Rooney and Cristiano Ronaldo um, So yeah, I definitely recommend you use if you have the same players use the same instructions. Okay, so then moving on to the roles um, So my captain um, Wait, let me just confirm now go on to roles um, So my captain I will so the thing about choosing a captain is right you need someone with um the leadership trait so i'm i'm not sure who actually has the leadership trait at the moment um so i'm just gonna stick with uh, rooney but i'll check after the video and put them on uh short through kick now i've actually changed it from a kocha to kuman just because look his stats are better it's all over 90 except from finishing but finishing you don't need for that uh 92 94 92 and this one is 94, 97, 98. So short free kick is already Kuman. Long free kick is already Kuman. My right corner, I don't want my center back taking it. So I think Wayne Rooney would be a good shout. And also, I think I'll put Wayne Rooney as well in there because he's quite short. So I want Adam Atore to be back. So I don't want to use the left footer for the right corner just for an in swinger because um, I want a fast center back to be just in case if I get hit on the counter attack. I'll have someone fast to keep up with like the likes of Mbappe, um, Team of the Air, Ronaldo, Team of the Air, Messi, all those kinds of high-rate players. Penalties, I think I'm going to stick with Kuman. He has 90... Ooh, actually, 
I think I'll put Wayne Rooney on it because he has 99. Yeah. So those are my rolls. I literally just made them on the spot right now. Um, so I will go into my actual custom tactics uh, for it, which is, so defense, I have dropped back. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do you have dropped back? Like the Serrati and stuff. But the reason why I have dropped back is for Adama Traore to get back. And when I'm defending, um, see, my width is fairly wide and my depth isn't low. So I'm not a rat, really. Um, it's people who have like two of them, two depth, they're, they're rats. But like, if you have four, five or six, that's really good. Like, I don't want my players to drop back just because, say, if I'm losing 2-1 and it's like the 89th minute or so, or so, I want all my players to push up. So this really helps as well. Uh, sometimes I'll change it to like uh, press as a uh, press as a team, so that's really good. Yeah, so th those are my defense. They're pretty standard. Most people have this, but sometimes they don't use it as well. Um, so on my offense, when I'm attacking, I use fast build up play. Um, just because Anamachori can get up fast, Pulisic is already there. Um, my attack is already there, like a Kocha, Wayne Rooney, and Owen. They're already up, so that's why they are. That's why I put them on stay forward. So that's really key. Um, the width. I put it on seven, um, just because Adam Atroyo will get wide. Some of my centre backs might get wide. My two CDMs will stay there, but they'll also push up a bit. Um, because the, uh, one, I think on one of my players, I think it's Curtis Jones. He's high, high, so he's always gonna get up. So that's the reason why I put Tavernier as my CDM that's staying back. So my secondary CDM is is probably gonna be um, because. The thing about CDMs, right? If you the good thing is you need pace on them, you need dribbling and you need defending and physical. And the the ones that you don't really need is shooting. Um, but passing is somewhat good. Um, in some key areas like long shot, uh, long passing and short passing. But the overall passing stat doesn't really matter. Um, plays in box, I'll overload them. Corners overload and free kicks overload just because I want maximum. Um, I just want the maximum opportunity. I, I want to take all um, chances that I have. That's why I create lots of chances. And this is actually the reason why I got gold one um, in one of my weekend leagues. And then all of a sudden, I just changed my team, changed my custom tactics, which I don't know why I did. And I started getting like gold twos and gold threes. But this is why I'm changing my team back to the original gold one team. And I'm actually going to be trying maybe to get a gold two or gold one. Um, it's probably not going to be likely because people now are actually like trying to get high rate um good good players are actually getting warm because there is actually like world competitions for esports so there's going to be a lot of good players that are playing the game now um just before like they weren't actually playing as much good games so yeah that is my team um I'll just show you through the subs that I put on I put Ryan Kent on for Adam Atrari because he gets really low on stamina and the five star weak foot and uh, four star skill moves is really good as well. Bergwin, I normally take out um, a Kocha and then also my right my right striker, which is Cristiano Ronaldo. I put Robin and then sometimes I switch Robin with Bergwin just because Bergwin's got that five star uh, weak foot, so it's really crucial in those like late areas inside the box. Um, while as Robin's got two star weak foot, so it's not very good and they can read him. So that's why I have him as my cam because when he when you play Robin at cam, he's unbelievable. He's more silky, um, he's really agile, and he's just he's better than Bergwin, um, overall. Um, but Bergwin's got that five star weak foot, which is really good as well. And there's also some new like Eredivisie, I think it's Foundation Two, uh, players as well, which I don't think is really good. There's like three star, three star, and then there's like this left winger that you can get overall which is, I think he's like high defensive rate and then low or mid um, attacking rate. So I don't know why they've made a left winger with those kinds of rates. They should have just like switched them up. Um, but yeah, they're really bad. I'm probably not going to do them. Um, but yeah, look, you for the first set, you got a player with five star weak foot, five foot seven, high, low, right foot. But he, the, the crucial thing is five star weak foot. Say if that left winger, even if he had really bad rates, um, then his weak foot, if it was five, I'd definitely do him just because weak foot is crucial on the game. So is skill moves. So if you don't have good skill moves and if you don't have weak foot, there's no point in really playing with the player. Um, so like Cristiano Ronaldo's got bad weak foot, but he's got really good skill moves. So that's good. Um, 
even if he had like four star, four star something, that would be better. Uh, Robin, he's not um very good on his weak foot, but he's got five star skill moves. Um, so that's why I took out Keen as well um, as my CDM because he's he's overall like if you th think about it, two star skill moves for CDM somewhat is crucial because sometimes like with ball rolls or other um other skill moves that you want to do just to get away from the opponent is very crucial. Yeah, so that's why I've subbed in Kleber and T Tavernier and also Wayne Rooney. So those are the players that I've subbed in for this weekend league. Hopefully I can get gold 2 or gold 1, I will see. But tomorrow is the Foot Champs and Division Rivals rewards. So make sure you subscribe and put your post notifications on so you'll be notified for when that video comes out. And Friday, hopefully there is a new set of What If players. And hopefully there's some actually usable players. And yeah, so that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And also comment down below. Um, what you think about my custom tactics, what you think about the new team, and yeah, just comment down below whatever you think about the team or if you need any help on custom tactics, and I will see you guys in the next video.